We, Astra Robotics, the student robotic chapter at RV College of Engineering, Bangalore, India, proudly present our Astra Mars rover. For the chassis architecture, we employed the double lambda implementation. We used commercial grade aluminium of 6000 series for the same. The entire chassis was built using rectangular hollow shafts and slabs. The hinges and linkages have been strengthened with tempered steel and small bearings. We have introduced N differential into the system which uses 4 bevel gears. The motors are housed inside the wheels enclosed with aluminium sheets for the protection from rugged terrain. The wheels are ring rolled with a diameter of 200 mm and covered with rubber mouldings to improve the traction. The entire design was made using SOLIDWORKS and the individual components were tested using ANSYS. We chose the explicit steering system considering its low power consumption. We have decided to implement a 5 degrees of freedom robotic arm. The base plate rotation is brought about by the usage of stepper motor. Shoulder and elbow movements are implemented by linear actuators. Wrist rotation is achieved by means of gripper setup mounted on the shaft of a DC motor. The gripper employs a 3 prong design which is ideal for picking up objects and turning knobs during the astronaut assistant task. The drive system has a dedicated controller which controls 6 DC motors for linear motion and 4 stepper motors for steering control. The DC motors we chose provide up to 90 kg centimeters of torque. To meet the power specifications of the motor, we decided to use Viper 2X35 DC motor driver. The drive control unit is central to our drive subsystem and receives commands from the central computer through a serial link. Out of 6 wheels, 4 extreme wheels can be rotated about their diametric axis with the help of stepper motors. To establish a communication link between the rover and the base station, we are using two routers operating at 2.4 GHz. Using Python scripts, we transmit commands from the base station to the rover and sensor values from the rover to the base station. The central processor communicates with the other subsystem units via USB. After processing the incoming command from the base station, it forwards that command to the concerned subsystem. Analysis of GPS sensor feed is carried out in the autonomous traversal task to ensure that the rover traverses approximately in the direction of the destination. If an obstacle is detected, an interrupt is generated which dictates the rover to circumvent the obstacle. Image processing is employed for this purpose. After the obstacle is avoided, the same procedure is repeated until the rover reaches the destination. Kinect and LiDAR are currently being tested to detect the obstacles and analyze the feed obtained from the devices. This entire process is mapped appropriately using an offline map. The video clearly illustrates the depth map and the live video feed obtained through Kinect and the decisions taken by the rover prototype to avoid the obstacles. Motor control and arm control are accomplished using joystick interfaces which were developed using QT framework. The rover is powered by lithium polymer batteries. We closely monitor the cell voltages, currents and temperatures at the base station. We have implemented coulomb counting to monitor the state of charge. We have used fuses and MCBs to protect the rover from any harm in case of emergency. The temperature and humidity of the soil is measured using sensor SHT10. Sieve test helps us to assess the gradation of the soil. Permeability test is performed to determine the specific surface area of the particles and porosity. A standard test strip is used to determine the pH and nitrate content of the soil sample. Carbon content can be measured qualitatively by using a simple oxidation test. We use the standard Munsell system for soil color which highlights the significant information about the minerals present in the soil. On observing the results of the various tests performed, we can draw conclusions about the profile of the soil and estimate the possibility of its supporting life. 